USA with it here in their own zone. Stretched through center. Over the line came USA. Dropped off and a shot and a goal. Oh my goodness. A shot from Chaz Lucius goes top cheddar. episode of Today in the USHL. I'm your host, Kirsten Krull. We are just now under three weeks away from the end of the regular season, and things are really starting to heat up. Let's take a look now at some of our top plays from over the weekend. Coming in at number five, Middlestat makes a beautiful pass over to Kukanen to get the Capitals on the board. At four, look at this passing play. The puck gets centered to Canool and the force extend their lead. In the third spot, what's cooler than being cool? This toe drag from Logan Cooley. We love a good tic-tac-toe play, and that's exactly what we saw from Chicago as Jack Harvey capitalizes. Last but not least, taking over our top play of the week, how about a little love for the goalie? Huge pad save from Lacosi to rob Chicago of a goal. For the 11th straight season, the Dubuque Fighting Saints are going dancing. Here with the Windstar Lions Road Warrior of the game, it's Davis Burnside. Step one's out of the way. You make the playoffs. What now? Uh, I just want to finish off strong. Uh, we're still fighting for uh, a spot in first place, so um, kind of get rolling going into the playoffs and uh, be confident that first series, so we're all excited. If the playoffs were to start today, this is where things would sit in the Eastern Conference. And here's how the playoff picture is shaping up in the West. Tri-City defenseman Mitchell Miller continues to have quite the season. The rebound, they're looking for it. Held by Wilmer. He'll feed Mitchell Miller. Shoot, scores! And there it is! With his 31st goal of the season on Friday, Miller broke the USHL record for most goals recorded by a defenseman in a season and also broke the Storm's record for single season power play goal on the same play. Miller now has 33 goals on the season. Kevin Pashy of the Omaha Lancers earned his first USHL shutout over the weekend as the Lancers took on the force and he also managed to make 55 stops in that same game. Pashi is the first USHL goalie to make a thousand saves this season and is also the USHL leader for most saves in a single game this season. With the Frozen Four taking place this weekend, we'd like to take a moment to congratulate three USHL alumni who are in the running for college hockey's top honor. Bobby Brink, alum of the Sioux City Musketeers, Ben Myers, an alum of the Fargo Force, and Dryden McKay, who played for Green Bay and Madison, are all Hobie Baker Hattricks finalists. Best of luck to you guys. The USHL has announced their Players of the Week for Week 27, and taking the honor of Forward of the Week is Dylan James of the Sioux City Musketeers. James had himself a nine-point weekend, including seven goals and a pair of assists. Trey Taylor of the Youngstown Phantoms was named Defenseman of the Week, recording a goal and four assists to come away with his fourth Player of the Week honor. And our Goaltender of the Week is Omaha's Kevin Pashy. Sam Renzel has been doing a before and after season with the Waterloo Blackhawks, and I had the chance to catch up with him earlier this week as Waterloo is making a push towards the postseason. Get enough points to get into the playoffs and, and be locked in there and you know, once we're once we're able to get there, it's it's just all about winning and and coming together as a group. And you know, anyone's able to win it. So, you know, we talked about like 2004 Waterloo Blackhawks were the sixth seed in playoffs, and they ended up winning it. So, you know, it's anyone's ball game. So, we're just trying to you know we're just trying to stick to our game, and 
and stick to what what brought us success and what has winning us games and that's just that's kind of what we're trying to stick to so before we close the show i wanted to end on a feel-good note from a story that i stumbled upon this week the Fargo Force posted on their social media channels this past week a friend style photo shoot with a few of their players and they titled it the one where they played the Omaha Lancers. Those photos are top notch and I think that they did a really, really great job. It's almost spot on. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Today in the USHL. This has been Kirsten Kroll and I'll see you guys next time, same place, same time.